Hi everybody, this is Technoli, and today we've got something extra special. We have a third gen Ryzen Threadripper. This is the 3970X, which is 32 cores and 64 threads, which is the maximum that Catalina does support. I do have a Thunderbolt card right here, the Gigabyte card, plugged in. So we've got some Thunderbolt working. I'm going to do some benchmarks on this. And this motherboard is pretty amazing, and you will be shocked at the performance. I'm doing a Logic Pro test with the Apollo. Everything is working good with that. We've got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that's supported in both Windows and Mac OS. So right here we've got a Windows drive, and here we've got our Hackintosh drive. So there we go. Beautiful Gigabyte TRX40 motherboard designer. Okay, back to the designer. So Plenty of room to upgrade as much RAM as you want. I'm only running 32 gigabytes in this, so the testing here, it could be even better than what you're going to see in our benchmarks. So let's get started with this, and let me show you what it's able to do. Okay, guys, here we are. And uh, like I said before, I'm only running 32 gigabytes of RAM on a system this massive. I would definitely run at least 64. Um, so your results may be a little better, but still this is extremely impressive. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with Geekbench 5, okay? So let's run it and let's see what kind of numbers we come up with. We'll be right back. Okay guys, here we go. Let's see, ah, nice scores. So, 1243 single score, 14, 212 on a multi. On this score, I'm gonna tell you how this compares to other systems that I have hacked. The Gigabyte Z390 Designare motherboard with an i9 9900K, the single scores are all good. The single score on that one was 1269 and the multi was 9168. Okay, now that's on the 9900K. On a 3950, this is on an ASRock motherboard, the X570, we got 1316 and 1413, 14,013 on a 3950, so great scores on the 3950X, okay? So that's all great scores, but I wanna take it a step further. I wanna show you something, a metal benchmark on this one. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, all right, now see, this is what I'm talking about, 60,222. The metal score on the 3950 was 41,167. So a huge increase. Now this graphics card I have in here is just a Vega 56 eight gigabyte. So it's not a 5700. So I think you're gonna get even better scores on a 5700. I just don't have one in stock right now. Let's jump over to Cinebench because here we're we're just going to go nuts because this is unbelievable. And I don't need to pause the video and show you this. Notice over here, we've got the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X, 32 cores, okay? 64 threads at 3.7. And I'm not overclocking this right now. Let's run it. Okay, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this is ridiculously fast. This is insanely fast. 
<laughs> now, let's wait till it comes to the end here, and we're going to compare. Okay, so there we go. 16,367, okay? All right, so that is right there equal with this 48-core, 96-thread Intel Xeon processor. So this is the fastest scores I've ever seen. On the i9-9900K, this Cinebench score was 4796. That's 12, this is 12,000 points higher than that. On the 3950X, the score was 9499. Look where we are, 16367. So, and on a 3900X, the Cinebench score was 7350. So, this Cinebench is where this system just completely blows everything out of the water. Okay. All right. Now, guys, I want you to come over here, and I want you to see up here that we have Bluetooth, and we've got our Wi-Fi working. So everything is working on this system. The only thing that doesn't work on this system, just like all Ryzen's, sleep doesn't work. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the Final Cut Pro benchmark that we always do, the Bruce X. And uh, let's see what kind of numbers we'll come up with with this. Okay, I'm going to get a stopwatch over here on the internet. So let me get that. Here we go. I, I expect this to be about the same as everything else because what we really need is to put a super, super load on this. And I wish I had um, another benchmark on this, but uh like a davinci benchmark i wish i had the davinci benchmark on this to show you guys something else but anyways let's go ahead and run it let's turn on this so we can see how fast it is rendering we'll click here master file and settings of course we're at apple pro res 422 resolution 5120 by 2700 i'm going to click next and then i'm going to click start okay so next, save, and there we go. All right, here is my seconds. Ten, and there it is. So 14 seconds, uh, about the same score as I've gotten on Ryzen's before. So. Nothing amazing, nothing incredible, but will definitely do the job. And now, for all of you musicians that follow my channel, let's run into Logic Pro X. All right, so here we are. Now, I've got this set to 192, but let's go ahead and start where we always start. Let's go over here and change this to 48. And let's see if we can run all 128 tracks, okay? So here's what we have on each track. We've got a synthesizer. We've got EQ, multiplier, chorus, uh, a filter and a plate reverb and then we've just got right here a limiter on the stereo bus okay so a total of 128 I'm gonna turn them all on tracks and we are at let's see here audio we are 128 so let's go to 64 just to make it a little tougher and we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do this is a we're at 48 K and 64 buffers 128 MIDI tracks 
and 48 and let me get my load meter for you guys so we know what we're dealing with okay look at all of those threads <laughs> beautiful all right let's hit it okay guys so ah oh, sleepy sleepy 30% CPU usage on 128 MIDI tracks with five plugins on each one. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know what this test is. It's on the web and uh, it's a great test. So we could do this all day long. So let's just, let's not mess with it. Let's go ahead and no other system that I have done has been able to do 96. Okay, sample rate of 96 with all 128 tracks turned on. But I'll bet you this one will. This is just insane. Let's play it. There we go. We're at about 80%. 80% usage, all 128 tracks at 96. So we could obviously do a lot more tracks. And remember, this is only 32 gigabytes of RAM. I wish I had a couple more sticks to put in here, but I just don't right now. So take that into consideration. 96. Now, a test we've never done. 192. Let's change it. How many tracks can we get at 192 sample rate? Okay, there we go. I know we're not going to get all of them. So let me back it down. Let's back it down to, what do you guys think? Um, like maybe 60 tracks at 192? Let's try 60 tracks. I haven't done this yet, so I'm not sure. Okay, there's 60 at 192 and let's hit it no problem at all we've got uh, probably about what probably about 80 percent usage 60 tracks at 192 let's pump it up let's grab another 10 Let's see if we can do 70 tracks right here. Boom, there's 70. And hit it. Okay, we're nearly peaked out. We've got a few over here that we're doing okay. If we get past the seventh bar, then I know we'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Can we squeeze a couple more out of it? Let's see if we can do 75 tracks. Okay, let's there we go. 75 tracks at 192 on this machine. So uh, for anybody looking for the monster, monster Pro Logic or you know, just audio workstation. This is it, but it's expensive. This CPU currently right now is $2,000, just the CPU. The motherboard is $480. So you're, you know, if you put in a couple of terabyte hard drives and you stick 128, or let's say you put 64 gigabytes in it, so you're at uh, 25, three, you're like $3,500 with a high-end graphics card. But that's a lot cheaper than a $60,000 Mac Pro. So what do you guys think? Is it too much? It's so exciting that we're finally able to run the third gen Threadrippers in Hackintosh. Thanks to the Open Core guys, their team amazing bunch of people now I'm going to show you one thing that does not work when you go to shut down this computer 
it will shut off for a split second and then it'll auto turn back on okay it's not fixed yet i'm sure it will be fixed in a future update but right now if i click here and go shut down it'll go out and it'll stop and the fan will stop spinning and then it just turns right back on which is not a huge deal but the computer is stable and that's what i want you guys to know um, everything works the audio works the wi-fi the bluetooth uh, all the usbs the the LAN connectors everything is working on this computer and thunderbolt so very exciting guys hope you like it hope you like this video i do have this efi on my website available if you decide to get one and uh that's it so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video